the gun is powered by a 12 volt high drain battery, specially modified to be compact and fit inside the receiver. Current from the battery passes through a safety fuse and then out through a 9 pin connector into the foregrip which contains the charging circuit and also to a voltage regulator board. The voltage regulator board has the 3 volt and the 5 volt output. The 5 volt output powers the digital voltage meter which monitors the voltage level on the capacitors and the 3 volt output powers the laser and also sends the gate signal to the SCR. The charging process has begun by flipping the switch over the handle. That sends power to the foregrip, which contains the charging circuit, which is a ZVS flyback driver. The flyback driver oscillates the primary side of this flyback transformer. The secondary side steps the voltage up to a high level, which is then fed through a bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier converts AC current into DC current, which is suitable for charging the capacitors. The charging circuit has a comparator, which stops charging and regulates at a certain voltage level. This knob controls the cutoff voltage at which charging is stopped. Once the capacitors are fully charged, the gun is fired by pulling the trigger. The trigger is a rocking switch, which simply disconnects the power from the charger and connects the 3 volt signal to the SCR gate. The SCR is a large semiconductor, which functions as a switch for the gun. When the small 3 volt signal is applied to its gate, it dumps all of the energy stored up into the capacitors into the coil. When the coil is energized, it generates an intense magnetic field which launches the projectile through the barrel towards its target. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. <laughs>